Right, well I added this fork to the end of the uh, centre punch. The idea is this will go either side of the wires through the middle of the bung, but it's rather wobbly and didn't work terribly well. So what I've done is prepared a jig, which uh, they will fit into there, like so. And then I've got a piece of fairly heavy duty uh, box section steel. Uh, I'm basically going to drill a few holes in here, tap them, thread these in, use this end to locate it and then just spot weld these in at the end here just to have a little bit of a tack to hold them in place. That should make the fork bit a lot more rigid. And then on the other side, which is what the other two holes are for, is that simply to align over this end and then that will be here. And then this is going to go onto a collar which will attach around the main shaft of the centre punch with a couple of holes here and here and this will stop the thing twisting. So uh, next stage is drill four holes in here. I've then got to locate and weld that in just the right place but I'll do that at the end and that will couple onto the bottom of the, the centre punch and then I've got to drill two holes in here and a big hole which is going to go around the main stem of the centre punch and there'll probably be a slit and a bolt through here just to clamp that collar on. Um, with a bit of look that will tidy up this end uh, and then a little bit more work on the the handlebar end to bring that down to the right size and with a bit of luck that should all be uh, fine and dandy but we'll do this bit first and see how we progress. pretty hard stuff. Cobalt bits, can't beat them. Right, next step is to put a bit of a thread on those so that we can locate those threaded bars in place and uh, then we'll weld everything up. Yeah, not perfectly centred but it's close enough so that's that bit done. Tap this both sides, but they're not aligning. I didn't think they would, but not a problem. It's just to hold these roughly in the right place when I just weld them up. So that will just seat there, and I can probably get a bit of a weld on there. But more importantly, they align in the jig. So as long as I now cut this collar with the holes in the right places, that should slide up and down. Could do with them being plain uh, bars but it's only a prototype, we'll get some proper ones made and then they will screw into there the same way and I can just get a bit of a weld onto the forks and um, with a bit of luck that will be fairly robust, crop it off but uh, I've also got to worry about how I fit this coupler on because there's not a great deal of room between these so uh, I might have a quick play with this before I begin on that so a little bit of work on the lathe Okay, what I'm going to do first is take a few millimetres off the end of this uh, nozzle part because when this fires it comes to about here which is leaving me with precious little thread left to actually screw onto the coupler so by taking this back about 10 millimetres it's not really going to affect it I might take a fraction off this end as well but uh, I'll start here and if I can just give it another few millimetres then that should give me enough purchase when I, I thread this in so uh, we'll start with with that and see how we progress. Well that seems to work okay and there's uh, quite a bit of clearance and that's on quite a, a way now 
I may need to put a pin through there just to stop it coming loose or possibly some Loctite or something just to hold it in. Uh, it should go onto there, of the way around actually on this side. You can get that off. Kind of like that. So next I need to make this collar which will locate all of these pieces together uh, and then somehow tack weld that on and then weld the other two prongs onto the bottom and that should be pretty much it but uh, obviously the collar's got to go next so we'll set that up and chop that one out I've had a go at machining this out, but it's not cutting it cleanly. Uh, it's just some scrap nylon block that I had lying around. So what I'm going to have to do is uh, drill a series of holes, I think, to try and make up that wide diameter, 28 millimetres roughly. Uh, and with a better look, it'll be close enough. But um, yeah, shame it's not machining. But never mind, plan B. Still a few bumps on the inside but uh, I'm going to split this anyway so hopefully that will suffice. Let's take it out and see if it fits. Yep, a bit rough around the edges but for a first attempt I think that will probably do us. Well as might have been predicted it's a little bit tight so I'm going to need to open that up somehow and also the holes here for the pins is also borderline in fact that's going to jam so I'm going to need to open those up as well uh, so I'll take those up to uh, a 10.5 and then the other thing I've got to do, which is going to be a little bit awkward, is I've got to send a drill right away down here so that I can come in and clamp it after I've split this in the middle. But we'll worry about getting these to fit to begin with. I've now got to drill this as deep as I can go, which isn't all that far, but uh, we can lower, raise the table while it's in the hole if necessary. But I'm going to be a little bit cavalier with this and just try and do it by hand. We'll see how we get on. It doesn't need to be enormously exact as long as it's fairly deep. Here we go. deep it is but it's uh, most of the way through I think so don't think I'm going to get it to go all the way because of the length of the bit so that will probably suffice right I opened everything up a little bit got my slot taking a couple of sections out here so I can get that that bolt through, there's a little, just enough play for it to slide down and uh, these holes are now good enough that with a bit of luck that will slide up and down nicely there. So next stage is going to be uh, have a go at welding these on I suppose. And I can crop this off, tidy it up and we're pretty close at that point. Well, 
ain't pretty, but it is quite solid. So um, I'm going to call that done. I've had a go at filing a few of the rough edges off. I don't know if it's because these um, threaded studs have actually been plated with something. But uh, anyway, it's on. So uh, the next stage is to fit this. Uh, and it does slide up and down if you get it just right. So the question is, how do I hold this to here while well, I just put some welds on there? And the best idea I can come up with is if I can stick some nuts on here and just drive this down a little way like that, I can put a bit of compressive force on this end and I'm just hoping that will be enough to hold it in place while we put a dab of weld on it. And if I haven't got it perfectly straight, it won't slide. Well, that looks okay. So, maybe a little bit more. Try and get it about centre. Alright. Yeah, well, we'll see. But that, yeah, this one's going to be a bit tricky, a bit hit and miss, but... Well, we'll give it a go and see how it comes out. Well, I don't think I'll be winning any welding competitions in a hurry. It's pretty ugly, but uh, it's also pretty solid. And this bit went on and it did move up and down. So, uh, slide that on. That, I think, will work. So, all I've got to do now is crop this off with a chop saw, assemble everything, and give it a test run. And fingers crossed, but uh, let's chop that off quickly and put it together. Well, a couple of minor adjustments, but uh, the business end is all together. Put a bit of tape around it just to stop it unscrewing itself, and uh, it seems to work. So I think we'll call that job done for now. Now I just need another nine of them. <laughs>